In this video, we're going to create a queue that implements the queue ADT interface provided in the book. And we're going to use the linked list class that we wrote in the last module. So we just did a fast stack this way. Now we're going to do a fast queue. Learning from the lessons of the last video, we're going to go ahead and first off create a linked list, a linked list member. And again, that'll be a generic type. We'll call it elements. And then we are going to create a constructor. But we're going to, instead of taking this as a parameter, we're going to just create a new linked list. We're going to implement this queue ADT interface that has in queue and DQ methods to add and remove from the queue. It'll return what the first element is in the queue and then is empty size and two string. If we want to implement that interface, we need to say that our class implements Q ADT. And you'll notice it doesn't know where that Q ADT is. So I need to say that or I need to import JSJF Q ADT. Now, once I do that, my error is no longer that it doesn't know where the interface is. My error is now, hey, you haven't implemented these methods, so I'll do that. And just like we did before, we're going to use the methods of the linked list in place of the methods of the queue. Before we actually do this code, let's uh, take a step back and look at what a queue does. So a queue is a linear data structure. So here would be our linked list. And then in our queue, we're going to add to one side, that'll be the rear of the queue. And we're going to remove from the other, the opposite side, That'll be the front of the queue. Now we could say that this is the rear or the front of the linked list either way. Of course, to make things easier to keep track of in our minds, we'll add to the rear and remove from the front of our linked list. However, we could implement the queue by adding to the front and removing from the rear. But again, I think then our code starts to not make sense, even though it would work and all the queue methods would work because the queue, it's not so much the rear and the front it concerned with, with a queue, you're going to add and remove from opposite sides. So you're going to add to one side, remove from the other. To in queue, we're going to add. So we'll say elements add to rear. Whoops. And I noticed that when I did this implement, I left off the generic type. So I need to change all the instances of object to T just so that it's that generic type. And then you'll notice that that particular method works now. So to DQ, I'm going to remove. So am I going to remove the first or the last? Well, I'm adding to the rear, so I need to remove from the front. So I'll remove the first. Since that's where I'm removing, first will return elements.first. And just like before, is empty returns elements dot is empty because again, that's going to give us the same thing. And size will return elements dot size. And then for my two string, I'll actually go ahead and write that from scratch. When we did our stack to string, we used an iterator, and I think we can use the same thing here. One thing I want to think about before I stop here is we're starting at the front. Well, the front is where the next element is. So we'll say front, and then before we do rear, before we return, we'll say that here's the rear. And that'll just help us see how the the queue actually works. So now let's create a new driver for our queue and I'll call it queue driver. So I have a main method and actually I can, I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy the text of the stack driver here. And you may say, well, why am I doing that? Well, this is going to be a fast queue instead of a fast stack. So I'm going to search for stack and I'm going to replace it with queue. 
And I guess I need to call this Q1 and Q2. So I'll make that change all over. Okay, that's good. Now I have a couple more issues, and that is I can't push to a Q. I'm going to NQ. And that looks good. So let's print this out. So that did not come across the way I had hoped. And I know why. Because in my fast queue, this should be, this two string actually should be ret plus two string. So that looks a lot better. And now you can see my output is what I would expect. So let's open up our stack driver, because I, I just noticed something. We didn't actually try to remove anything. So we'll just say Q1, DQ. We'll say Q2, DQ. And we'll do, we'll do three DQs for Q2. And then for our stack driver, we'll pop. And then we'll also do the same thing for stack two. And now when we run this, well, first let's make sure we print this up, print this out. And then we'll say, after we DQ, just so that we can see the difference. So here notice when I DQ, I'm DQing those first things that I added. Now with the stack, and then let's do before and after with them as well. So with the stack, when I run this, let me fix that. So now, now with the stack, notice the front. So with the stack, notice we removed the last thing we added. So we add we we removed nine eight seven, which are the last three numbers. We removed Atlanta, which was the last city. You'll also notice that the stack, when we go from the top to bottom, we go in reverse order versus if we do the queue, notice we removed the first thing elements and these numbers go from smallest to largest. So there's, that should give you some ideas of what, some things you can do when you mix a queue and a stack together. You can write some methods that do some pretty neat things, especially if you're trying to reverse them and that sort of thing. So for this video, we'll stop here. And we will see in additional videos how to create a stack and a queue from scratch, which again is good a good thing to see. But the important thing to notice here is that, look, if I have this interface, whether it's a stack or a queue or, or anything, all I need to do is implement these methods any way I want. And so there's no reason to go in and do everything from scratch if you have some other data structure that'll do a lot of the work for you. So here we use the linked list to get all that work done for us.